Eli. Today we have a visitor. Bear. Bear wanted to listen to a story. It's bedtime for Bear. Let's go ahead. Bear will sit on Grandma's lap while we're doing the story. Okay, bedtime for Bear by Bonnie Becker. Here we go. Okay, bedtime for Bear. Everything had to be just so for Bear's bedtime. His glass of water had to sit on the exact right spot of his bedstand. His favorite pillow must be nicely fluffed. His nightcap needed to be snug. Most of all, it had to be quiet. Very, very quiet. Just do not disturb. There's Bear. One evening, Bear heard a tap, tap, tapping on his front door. When he opened the door, there stood Mouse, small and gray and bright-eyed. He clasped a tiny suitcase in his paw. There's a little mouse. Ooh, look at there's Bear's living room and his fireplace, his stairs. I am here to spend the night, exclaimed the mouse with a happy wiggle of his whiskers. Surely we agree on next Tuesday, protested Bear. No, said Mouse. You must definitely, you most definitely said tonight. Oh, said Bear. Bear had never had an overnight guest before. Guests could quite possibly mess things up and make noise, and Bear needed quiet, absolute quiet at bedtime. Even so, Bear and Mouse enjoyed an evening of checkers and warm cocoa and soon it was time for bed. Remember, I must have absolute quiet, reminded Bear. Oh, indeed, said Mouse. There's Mouse going up the stairs. Oh, look at his little suitcase. Bear set out his glass of water, adjusted his nightcap, fluffed his favorite pillow, and climbed into bed. It was very, very quiet. He closed his eyes. Bristle, 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 bristle. Bear heard noise. It was Mouse brushing his teeth. Hum! Bear cleared his throat in a reminding sort of way. Most sorry, said Mouse. Bear closed his eyes again. Hmm. Mouse hummed while he put on his nightshirt. Pum, pum, pum. Absolute quiet, muttered Bear most patiently. Deepest apology, says Mouse. Oh, look at Mouse is going to bed in the drawer right there. Creak, squeak, rattle, went Mouse's bed as he hopped in. Bear jammed his pillow over his ears, gritted his teeth, and closed his eyes. He was just about to drift off when... Good night, Bear, Mouse said softly. Bear tried to pretend he was asleep. Good night, Mouse called to it a little louder. My ears are highly sensitive, cried Bear. Really? How interesting, said Mouse. Can you hear this? Mouse mumbled into his pillow. Yes! Amazing, how about this? Mouse said from under his pillow, quiet! Mouse slipped under his blankets, crawled to the bottom of his bed and whispered, can you hear? Silence! Bear roared. Hey, look, he's getting mad. Mouse slid from his bed, went into the closet, and said in the tiniest possible voice into the farthest, darkest, teeniest possible corner of the closet. Surely you can't. There he is in the corner. Can Bear hear him? Will this torment never cease? wailed the bear. Sorry, Bear. Good night, Bear, whispered Mouth, tiptoeing back into the bed as quiet as well, you know. Bear fluffed his favorite pillow, adjusted his nightcap, and waited. But there was no more sound for Mouse. At last it was quiet. Very, very quiet. 
Bear heard a shuffling sound. Mouse, is that you? No answer. Bear heard a crick, crick, crick on the floorboards. I know it's you. No answer. You can't fool me, Bear growled, but he didn't sound very certain. Bear heard a low moaning noise. Mouse? Silence. He's worried. Bear was sure something rustled on the floor. Mouse, he cried. Wake up. Crying at the mouse. Mouse stumbled out of bed, small and gray and sleepy-eyed. What is it? But Bear couldn't see any rusty, moany sort of thing in his room. His room looked quiet, like it always looked. Nothing, lied Bear, still clutching his blanket to his chin. I must have been talking in my sleep. Bear chuckled, but it was rather quivery. Ah, said Mouse, with a glance to the bear. peek under your bed, said Mouse. Sometimes I like to check for things, you know. Well, if you insist, said Bear. Nothing, said Mouse from under the bed. You want to check behind the curtains, I suppose, Bear said. All clear, declared Mouse a moment later. Behind the curtains. You better check the closet, offered Bear. Then you won't be the least bit nervous. Mouse came out of the closet, dusting his paws. Not a thing. Thank you, Bear. Good night. said Bear. You want a bedtime story, I expect, said Bear. For your nerves? For my nerves, said Mouse. Oh, indeed. I'm quite shaken. Then with an eager flick of his tail, he settled on, he settled on Bear's favorite pillow. And Bear told him all about his adventures of the brave, strong Bear and the very frightened little Mouse. There they are. Soon Bear began to yawn. Mouse yawned too. Good night, Bear, said Mouse. Good night, Mouse, Bear mumbled. Oh, he's getting sleepy. Then Bear began to snore loudly, but Mouse just smiled. And soon Mouse and Bear were fast asleep. That was a good story. Did you like the story, Eli? Okay, Grandma loves you. Mwah!